Hello, everybody. Anybody? Alrighty. Um, yeah, where's my... I guess I guess we need a webcam. Where's that? There we... Is that it? No. No, that's... There we go. Here I am. Alright. I think it's just me at the minute. Not feeling too crash hot today. I've got something, something. The doctor's calling me in an hour for a uh, telephone appointment. I don't know what good it'll do, but, you know, you can't see a doctor these days if you're sick. Um, yeah, so I'm working on... Let's see if I could bring this up on the screen. Oop. I'm working on this this sort of a scene here, just getting all the components made. Um, already I can see I'm going to have to redo the, the baseball we did last week. Uh, that, that's okay, we know how to do it now. Um, just to get the stitching sort of uh, more, more, more going in ways like this, because our baseball is, the stitching is quite, um, quite flat. Um, Uniform is the word I'm looking for. Um, what else? And then I'm trying to get rid of ads on the channel. I tried to run a uh, pre-ad. Let me get rid of that timer. That should not still be up there. Which one is it? This one? There we go. Um, I tried running an ad at the start before we come into it, and it says it's disabling the pre-rolls for the, the next... 22 minutes or something like that. So hopefully that works. Other than that, I can't really control it. I've turned all the other ads off and we can run them at will instead. Okay, so excuse me for sniffing. I have a cold, chest infection, I don't know, something. Um, yeah, so I've got that. And then this scene, obviously, it's very vanilla. It's very blocky. Uh, what I want to do is, oh, I've changed my angle now. Let's see if we can get that back. Sort of, oh, yeah, okay, cool. So that's around there. Um, I just installed this Epic Pen thing. It's pretty cool. So this is sort of where I want to take it. I want to really just... Like the perspective you see on the like the fishbowl cameras, but I want to model that in. Um, but first we'll make everything, then we'll we'll uh, adjust proportions and things. I want the walls to be all gooey because it's goosebumps and yeah, monster blood, all that sort of stuff. Um, and I'm not sure if I want maybe something up here that would say you know goosebumps. Goosebumps and the book title here, How I Got My Shrunken Head, or if I should sort of bring this down a bit more like a cake, like a slice of cake maybe, I'll put it down here instead. But I'm leaning more towards the top because I don't, I don't think I like this sort of straight idea down the bottom. Um, Cool. So that's that. Um, I think. All right, maybe the ads are still running. That's really annoying. Anyway, today I thought I'm not feeling too crash hot, but um, we'll see what we can do. Let's turn that off. And all of these off. Let's think how we're going to do this. Can I copy export? Maybe what we have to do is 
grab some reference off the internet and bring it into ZBrush. Uh, Pongress. Pongress. And the bottom. Looking up shoe bums. All right. Um, Converse bottom. Images. Um, right, so this one looks pretty clear. They all like, <laughs> excuse me, they're all the same, I think. And this one is a more, more flat. Um, Save it. Save it as from the bottom. From the bottom. Okay, and then we need, I guess, a side. Yes. This one looks all right. Um, save this. On the side. Alrighty. Oh, uh, okay. That's somewhere. Uh, so then let's pop it into our. Why is this open? Pop it into our texture for our spotlight. Import. The spotlight, yeah. Opacity. Where's our floor? So I guess we'll see where the middle's at. You know, last week we had all those problems drawing those circles. I just had perspective on, and that's why that's why they didn't line up. So I've added the perspective to my um, UI so I can see whether it's on or not. I don't know if we need this to be big or small. Um, let's just leave it there for now. I think I don't want this to be a circle. What I want it to be is a plane, maybe. Plane. Wow, it's so huge. Let's try some brushes. Let's have some fun. Um, I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, I've got it down here. Tri curve. Let's see. Symmetry off. Um, I don't know if it needs to have a higher resolution on the plane or not. Let's find out. Oh, this is a terrible trace job. Look at this. It's horrible. All right. Excellent. Let's do move infinite. Make my brush size a bit bigger. Match this into the right sort of shape. Maybe 
give it a push it number six. No, that just does the curve. And we don't need that curve anymore. What do we need? No. Can we get rid of that curve? Alright. Stroke curve delete. Smooth it down a bit. Just getting a basic shape in. And let's see. There we go. Basic converse shape. Sweet as. Um, just put that over here. Where's the opacity? Sure. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, now for the side one, let's load that in. Okay, so the plane, I don't want that plane anymore. What can we do? My mesh 3D. Let's turn in. Delete hidden. Goodbye, plane. And the plane was gone. Okay. So, yeah, it's a bit of a rough start today. Um, I'm not feeling the greatest. Oops, what am I doing? Uh, shenanigans. Shenanigans. Hmm, let's think about it. All right. I wonder if we just uh, actually use Ben Curve. Uh, ben Curve. Just to pull that up there like that. So turn the opacity up a bit. There we go. We get this shape in. It doesn't have to be perfect, we're just sort of blocking in a shape at the moment. Let's see what we can get. This is also a little bit of camera angle. That's probably more flat than that. Okay. Now, all right, looks good. And then let's save this camera angle. So, the draw menu. I've got a few angles in here already. Uh, let's. Ah, no. Ah. I'm so clever. Okay. Let's see if we can get this back in its spot. Bring that perspective in as well. It's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Everything is okay. Draw. Store cam. Perspective mode must be on. Oh, okay. Movie. Timeline. Show. We just push that. So then, if we, yeah, we go. Okay, good. Oh, <clears throat> what are these triangles? My goodness. Um, so we Z remesh. Get something nicer to pull up on. 
we want to keep groups or detect edges. Let's try keep groups and adapt off. Let's go. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. More than we need, probably. Okay. Alrighty, so then what I want to do is pull this up with the Z Modeler brush. That was pretty close. Let's go back to this, turn the opacity up a bit more. A little bit higher. Hey Mike, greetings from near Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. Greetings from Western Australia, where it's springtime. I'm a little bit sick today, so um, yeah. And the doctor has given me a call at some point, so I'll have to leave the stream probably at around 11-ish. It's another half hour or so. But I'm trying to make a shoe. Let's pull it up a little bit more. Yeah, that looks good. And then... My brush size too big. Use uh, this move infinite's really good because it moves the back and the front at the same time. All right, we have the soul healing bit. McNally, greetings from Austin in Texas. Hello. Does it snow over in Texas? I always imagine it's just always hot. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to think for the next bit, do I want to just duplicate that? Or make a whole new shape? Draw bugs me so much. Okay. I think let's try it. Let's try duplicating. I'm going to try and make some decisions here. And then we can. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not feeling very well today. Um, let's see. Control, holding down to control and pushing up. That made a duplicate shape. Yeah. I don't like it. Um, delete. Let's instead just. Let's just insert a, okay, fine, we'll do it this way. Let's just insert a ball. And then split it off. It's uh, split mass points. And I think we'll go to maybe Dynamesh. I don't use Dynamesh very often. Let's do that. Dynamesh. Do you guys use Dynamesh very often? 
Um, whoops. Move. Move infinite. Move infinite. Let's get that shaping. Da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. We had a bad winter storm in 2001 in February, but that was a freak occurrence. Rarely do we get snow. Maybe a bit in the north of Texas. Okay. Yeah, we don't get snow here at all in Perth, in Western Australia. Uh, we get hail sometimes um, of various various sizes of hail. Um, oops. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that. It's beautiful. Um, shoe shape. All right. What do we do here? Normal move, maybe? We got symmetry on? No, we don't want symmetry, that's okay. Yeah, I, I have only ever seen snow when I've uh Gone to a very cold country. I think I've only seen it once actually. Um, when I was in Russia and it was Christmas, sort of Christmas, New Year's time. That's the only time I've seen snow. I loved it, but I don't have to clean it up, so there's that. Excuse me, hang on. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just had to sneeze. I uh, usually spend Christmas up with family in Canada. Lots of snow there. Yeah, I loved it so much. But, um, yeah, I'm told that if you have to deal with it on a regular basis, that it's just, uh, it sort of represents hard work and mess. <laughs> but for me, yeah, it was magical. I particularly loved it when it was in the process of snowing. Uh, why is my, well, I guess my smooth is not strong enough. Let's turn that up. There we go. So yeah, I'm not worried about um, topology or anything like that here. We're just getting a shape in. Uh, we can fix up. We can fix that up later. So we just get something to to work on first. And there's a few ways we can fix the topology up. We can uh, let's turn back face mask on here. We can go in manually and retopologize. Uh, I've been watching. A few of Ian's old videos where he's and uh, and smartest as well, where they go in and retopo by hand, or we can just use 
what do we call it, zero mesh of to get us somewhere. I might do a combination of both because of the details on the, um, would be good for sort of creating these sort of lines where we need them. But everything else doesn't really matter too much, but um, I found that if we have good, um, good edge flow is what they call it, good edge flow, then we can get those details in a bit nicer. This back section is way too square. What have we got going on? It's not even moving. Oh, back face mask is too long. Hang on. All right, I hope I'm muting my mic and not anything else, uh, and you don't have to listen to me cough. Uh, snow is nice for Christmas, but the rest of the winter you wouldn't miss it. <laughs> yeah. All those Christmas movies led me to believe that uh, if it doesn't snow on Christmas, then it's it's a sad occasion. Um. All right, let's. It just just doesn't feel right, but it's probably fine. Um, where is our reference? Ah, oh, it's not bad. <clears throat> Converse are so skinny. What can we do with this top bit? I think what we can do is just slice it. Or clip curve, or what if we got something better than clip curve? Knife, maybe? Or I just slice it and then cut it off after. What does knife do? Let's do knife uh, from here. Oh, just probably backwards too. We leave the tongue off for now. Uh, yeah, that was backwards. Completely backwards. All right. Oh, that's true, huh? Okay. For folks that have to travel to visit family and friends at Christmas, it can add stress to the day. Oh, yeah, because, like, the planes and stuff would be grounded. It's unsafe to drive, huh? Um, let's try that knife again. That was pretty cool, though. And then every time I want to turn, I'm just um, pushing Alt. And it adds this little bend to my line. Whoa. I don't know why it has to snap like that. Oh, there we go. I try that. Yeehaw! Alrighty. I guess what we need now is actually, oops, not that one, is a, excuse me, A reference for the front of the foot. Builder's mark. Uh, yeah, not a lot. We're trying to make some Converse shoes. Um, and just so you know, I'm, I'm not feeling too well, and uh, it's going to be a short stream today because I have a doctor's telephone appointment soon. But how have you been? How's your um? How's your secret project going, Builders Mark? Uh, what am I looking for here? Yeah, Converse shoes. Let's bring that over here. 
canvas, I guess, front. Is that what it looks like? It's so tall. Uh, your project's going well. Trying your best to design some Christmas toys. Ah, oh, space toys. Yeah, that's cool. I should get onto the Christmas thing. It is November tomorrow. All right, let's save this one. That's not what I want. I want the image. Save image as. I know it's saving as a web file. Hmm. Converse shoes are tall. Okay. Yeah, I never had any. They they look a bit too skinny for for my foot. Let's try this one. No, oh, it's a web file too. Why are these web files? You know what? This is how we get a picture that won't save properly. We just take a snip. Alrighty, save this. And save it as oh. all right. Pirates stealing photos off the internet. Import front. Alright. So now I think this photo would have perspective of some sort, but whether I can match that or not is another story. Alright, let's just. Oops. Okay. I think to move that heel out a bit like that. No, don't like that. Yeah. All right. Well, what we can sort of use it for <coughs> is sort of marking off where those might be. We can try that. Um, turn off this. Just up a bit like that. And let's just um, let's think about it for a minute. Uh, move these. All right, there's our shoes. Let's just think about that. So, yeah, they look thin. I don't know. My toes would be all cramped up in here. Oh, you got the file submitted. Excellent. Oh, it's so close now. I'm excited for you. Okay. Um... Let's move to some nicer 
some nicer squares topology. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what time is it? Okay. There, there's no groups. Let's let's first of all let's actually try to group by normal. Oh, sad face. Let's try lowering the angle. There we go. Oh, well, that'll do for now, the top one. And then back to geometry. Shoe, yes, shoe. <laughs> I don't think I've ever made this type of shoe before. I've done boots. Boots I'm familiar with. Converse shoes? N no. Okay, let's um let's try keep groups. All right, hang on, I need to sneeze again, I think. Nope, it passed. <laughs> All right. Thirsty Dragon. How is that hat coming along? How much of this toe is actually... Is that uh, this bit? Hmm? Dumb question. The project he did for me, can that be separated so it can be printed in place on a bamboo, bamboo printer? I know you can talk about it later. Yeah, yeah, the pumpkin hat. Um, builder's Mark. I'm not familiar with the printer. Uh, yeah, send me some send me some stuff in Twitch chat in my Twitch chat, and um, and I'll work out what you mean, and we'll we'll have a look. What can we do here? I think we should be able to. Hey, Thirsty Dragon's pumpkin hat. Are you stopped? Yeah, everything requires cleanup. Um, so what I'm doing right now. It's just a shoe, but whoop, I forget there's a shoe there for a second, pointing the wrong way. Is I'm working on a whole scene, and it's already wrong. It's already wrong. I have to redo everything. But um, I think the important thing is you get all your elements out, and then you can make them all work together. You know, so so even if it's not quite right to begin with, which it usually isn't. You can see what is wrong by comparing to the things next to it and the concept if you have it. So my concept is the art from this book, uh, Goosebumps. I don't know if you, you read it when you were a kid because I just loved Goosebumps. Yes, Goosebumps. And this one was How I Got My Shrunken Head, which I remember reading a lot as a child. But I can't for the life of me remember the story. <laughs> Maybe I should find it and read it again. So yeah. All right. But yeah, I think um, yeah everything needs clean up. You just have to sort of well, you don't have to do anything. I go into it with the idea that um, nothing is final, and it's 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 all right. Everything's just in process. We get the shapes out first, and then clean it up at the end. And suddenly it'll make sense. What was I wanting to do? I wanted to make that curve, didn't I? Okay, so let's have a look at what we can do in this menu here. So we've got polygon actions. I thought maybe poly group. Can we do like um, an edge, an edge loop, a loop? Poly, poly group, poly loop. Try that. Um, excuse me, uh, one group ID, additive, oh, it won't tell me, I can't do that there, okay, let's just try it, ah, what happened, <laughs> why is that one different, okay, no, no, 
no, okay, this not working for me at all, okay. Uh, you're hoping the rig pose would pose them without much issue. Yeah, every time you pose, you're going to break the model and it will, will require clean up afterwards. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's the life. It's the life we live. Let's, um, let's try an edge action instead. Hold a grip. Uh, override. No, it's the same thing. I think it's just the topology is really crazy. I wonder if we halve it. Yeah, it's crazy topology. All right, let's just paint it in. Um, so hold down Alt. Oh, look at that. Nice. Don't know how I managed that. That's that's exactly what I wanted. All right, cool. Now let's, um, oh god, here, auto groups, and then these two together, different color please. Yeah, that looks good. It's only a really small bit at the front. Oh, it's right there as well. Um, yeah. Alrighty. And then, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to think about, maybe I should just delete this one and make it single-sided. We can always close it up again later. Um, Delete hidden. Now you've got I. Oops. Oh, that shortcut shouldn't do that. Uh, what was my custom menu? Okay. Double. Um. Yeah. That's right. I wanted to. My brain is not on today, not at all, not even close. What can we do here? Maybe looking down ways like this. And then we can slice curve. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. There we go. Hi, Mecca. How you doing? I'm streaming even though I'm sick. So expect great things, yeah? Um, what were we doing? I think trying out this slice curve. No idea what I'm... There we go. And we need... Bloop, bloop. Uh, oh, not like that. Uh, oh, no, no, not like that. Are you like that? Pretty. At perfection, always, always. Anything I do, it's it's the way it was meant to be. Absolutely. No, no, we're just trying out some stuff. Oop, did it again. Then click it last. There we go. Oh, I need a different poly group, thanks. Oh, it is. It's just a funny colour. Oh, thanks, Mecca. I uh get my converse on. <laughs> All right, let's try some polish. Polish by groups. Clean it up a little. Yeah. 
Yeah. We can fix this. What we can do is paint that. Let's solo this out. Um, pretty sure you can borrow a paint color somehow. No, not like that. Oh, what have I done? Maybe control. Ooh, just moving around all over the shop. Well, that did something. <laughs> but you got a few pairs of Converse yourself. I was just saying, I don't think my toes would squeeze in there. They look really thin. Do they sort of stretch with use or are they not as thin as they appear? Oops. Yeah, that was it. That's horrible. All right. And the bottom isn't that thick. Oh, okay. So they're like flexible. Oh. Clown shoes. So you buy the next size up. Let's try that. No. I've, no. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, oh, oh, oh. What colour do I want? Ew. Yeah, green. Watch by groups. Yeah, that looks a bit better. The last pair that you had were thirteens. Why is the colour like that? Was I painting pumpkins? I probably was painting pumpkins. Um, okay, so um five five to eleven. So I won't be on for much longer today. I have a doctor's appointment soon. Telephone. Anybody else having trouble seeing a doctor when they need one? Sick people can't see doctors anymore. So I think what... What we'll probably do is... I don't know if I might delete this sort of here. Well, not the back, obviously, and then make the tongue separate. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Maybe, maybe delete it from about here. Maybe pull the tongue up as a separate separate piece, and then we can work on the shoe holes and shoelaces and the awesome pattern that's underneath. Of course, that'll be lots of fun. Actually, I I reckon. Oh, it's a good start anyway. Yeah, there's a lot more telehealth, which is fine if you know what is wrong with you already. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm having problems where, like, my asthma is flaring up as well as whatever else is going on, and I'm not sure if I have a chest infection or not. Um, well, the doctor can't listen to my heart over the uh, my heart or my lungs over the phone, you know. All they can do is like, oh, yeah, well, here's some antibiotic script, you know. Uh, I could probably go on all day about how annoying the health system is right now. 
Oh, yeah, it's coming into summer now. It's, it's actually really nice. I don't even have my lights on, guys. Jeez, man, you can't even see me. Um, yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice outside. <clears throat> Look at that, light. Uh, yeah. What else? The flowers are blooming. The bees are everywhere. My neighbour has bees. We get honey for free. It's really, really cool. Um, the quail are laying eggs, which is pretty good. Lots of eggs. Lots and lots of eggs. Can't eat them quick enough. Um, your doctor has all your files in a thick paper file folder. Wow. We still have files, but I don't know how much actual paper is kept in them because we also have, um, uh, what's it called? It's called Health, My Health, which is an online repository of data. So, yeah, there's that. Um, all right, so I have a question for everyone who's here. Um, would you like to see more streams in the week? Because currently I've, I'm just doing the Monday, but I'm thinking about also doing this time on a Thursday. That's in the schedule already, but I haven't done one yet. And then um, possibly, possibly some morning streams for my American viewers, night time for me, um, every other week. Um, I don't know if if you can get test overload or not, but uh, yeah, let me know, and we'll see. We'll try and hang out. Maybe we can do some more. Is always good. Yeah, yeah. You're on all the time. Go follow. Actually, can we do that? Go follow Mecca. He's he's doing orcs. They're so freaking cool. How do we do this? Um, does it need a space? At there you go. Let's try that. Did it work? I don't know if it works. Anyway, go follow Mecha Miniatures. Um, he's been on all week. It was great. And uh, Mork is best today. Uh, yeah, cool. So more is better. And then uh, what I was thinking was um, instead of just me noodling, noodling on stuff, I mean, we can watch that, absolutely. But I thought it would be nice to have some more... <laughs> Some more um, chat interaction where we could we could choose together a project, a character, an object, a mashup, I don't know, stuff like that. I think it'd be more fun. Let's just uh, let's just make stuff together. It'd be really cool. Mork is best. I should add that to mine just as a. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't. I won't steal your thunder. Go join Mecha Miniatures and uh, Mork is best. Oh, Mike has ZBrush installed. Um, okay, you, but your Mac, your Mac keeps crashing. Is that is that the problem you were having with the license? Since since uh, Maxon bought out Pixelogic, you said you were having some troubles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um yeah, hit me up on on Twitch as well. Absolutely. Um with suggestions what you want to see modeled. Um if you enjoyed the stream, give it a I don't know, does does Twitch have likes? I don't know. Give me a shout out on Twitch. On on uh no, no, not Twitch, Twitter. I can talk, man. I got words. I got words. Mac has worked for years, but since the Mac's on buyout, the ZBrush keeps crashing on launch. That's terrible. I don't know what to say. That sucks. Have you um, tried contacting support? Or, um, yeah, I guess support. You have to put in a ticket. I think we know some people who might be able to have a quick think about it if you can describe symptoms. Are you on um, Ian's Discord, Mike? I ask goals.
what else can we look at? Not just not just my shoe, huh? Oh, that's not how you move pure ref. Guys, I have this problem, hey, like I've never held a baseball mitt in my life. And I was trying to think about how to sculpt it. And for the life of me, I, I can't get the shape right in my head. I was thinking maybe just like taking a hand and drawing the glove around it. Like, would that work? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Wow. But um, did you have to buy an extra license for the windows? Because surely not. Did they give you a windows license? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, with the hand. That's all I could think of is I probably just, just sort of posed the hand in that sort of, I guess, a, maybe I should put a baseball in my hand. <laughs> Glove with sausage fat fingers and some strings. Yeah, I think I, I'd be okay with the the details after I got the shape. It's just um, I don't know why it's throwing me for a loop. All right. All right, I've got to go very soon. Um, I don't know if I do this. Is that, did that come back on? Oh, look, it's six minutes until we go, guys. I've got to set, set time on. Well, Mecca, uh, I, I just, I search timers, by the way. I search timers to find this one. It's just a browser source. And every time I turn it on, I've set it to six minutes. So uh, I, th I think it's something you can do if you want at the start of your stream, if you want to make coffee or, yeah, your coffee time or something like that. Um, I'll add two activations. Oh, okay. I didn't realise that the Mac licence would work on a PC. That's really good. I'm glad it does. Yeah, all right. Um, my coffee, my coffee is lukewarm and it makes me sad because I like it steaming hot. Do you drink much coffee, Mike? Well, not really. I'm looking at my chat screen and it's not where my webcam is, so that must look a bit weird. Hello! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I might send you a link to the to the website. I just chose one that I thought looked cool. But there's probably other websites that have great timers as well. I just like this one. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. Um, I wonder if it's still up here. Da, 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 da. Uh, I suppose I shouldn't link straight to the one I chose. Where's the main page? Here it is. Yes, we'll do it. Um, which is so here. There's a link right there. Um, McNally, I drink 500 ml of coffee every morning and tea in the evenings. Okay. That's very specific. <laughs> I have one to two, usually two coffees in the morning. Today it's three. However, it's not always two full coffees because I have kids to get ready for school. And I don't like my coffee cold, so sometimes I drink half a coffee and then I have to make another one. Uh, yeah. So one coffee or one and a half coffees. And then I might have another couple during the day. I used to drink quite a lot and then I had to give up suddenly when I was pregnant. 
be not because I was pregnant, but because I couldn't stand the smell suddenly. It's a horrible, horrible affliction. That's uh, after that, I didn't drink it for about two years, and now I'm back on. I'm back on it. Is your coffee thirty-two ounce? Oh, I don't know what that means. Oh, I just use instant coffee, so it's uh, a teaspoon of brown powder or chunks and a teaspoon of sugar and some milk and some hot water. I'm not a I'm not a coffee snob, I don't know. All these pumpkin spice and cremas and things. <laughs> yeah. Um but I, I did hear I did hear that most most uh, US American kitchens don't have an electric kettle, which um, it surprised me because it's the quickest way to boil water. If you want to boil your water for your spaghetti or your noodles or your hot chocolate, it's not just for coffee, eh? It confused me a lot. The only time I boil water on the stove is when there's no power. Thankfully, we have gas, hot water, gas heating, gas stove. Oh, your coffee cup is 946.353 milliliter. <laughs> okay, I like it. I like it. I don't know how much my coffee cup is. It's, it's this much of my face. I, I don't know. 300 mils maybe. 400, I don't know. <laughs> that's great microwave boils water oh okay yeah I don't think I've done that either I have used the microwave to try and heat up drinks but if there's milk in the drink it doesn't really taste good after it's been microwaved I don't think you drink too much coffee builders mark uh, you ain't seen nothing yet you should go watch uh, Mecca he he has a like a coffee cup the size of my head and uh, yeah all day, all day. I don't know how he does it. It's probably because Mork is best, if he's still in here. <laughs> all right, my time is about to go off. I'm going to go and um, catch you next time. So let's aim for Thursday, which would be, what, Wednesday in America. Let's aim for that, and then um, hopefully I'll see you then. If not, again on Monday or Sunday night. This time again next week. All right. See ya. I'm going to turn this off. i hang around for a moment to see the tack. Bye, everyone. Alrighty, thanks Mike. Bye Thirsty. Oh, I like that, he's cute. Bye McNally. Alrighty, why don't we turn this off again? It's always the same.